here hope you're all having a great start to 2020 before we start the video i just want to say a couple things about the channel with this new year youtube has put some new rules regarding content made for kids my channel is a channel for all ages but youtube will auto select videos like my lego videos and my ben 10 videos as made for kids and these videos will no longer have the notification bell on them so a couple points I want to make is, one, please come and check my channel every now and then. And two, a lot of my friends have been telling me in their subscription and home pages, they've only been seeing my other videos like my gaming and music videos. So if you're interested in the Ben 10 or Ninjago or any Lego videos, go actually into my channel and click on videos to see them. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So, Today, we will be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Empire Temple of Madness. This is one of the new 2020 sets. 2020, from what we've seen and heard, is going to be a big year from Ninjago. We have new sets, not only for the 2020 season. We also have new legacy sets, which I think is really, really awesome. The temple itself looks really unique, and Ninja being stuck in the video game idea really reminds me of the episode in season 3 when they were stuck in the Digiverse and the minifigure selection is also pretty cool you get three of the main ninja Lloyd, Cole, and Jay and for some reason Zane doesn't have a season 12 figure so we'll have to see what that's all about then you have three of the bad guys Ugami, which is from what we know the main bad guy Sushini an exclusive figure to this set and red visor one of the bad guys we don't know what his position or ranking is this is lego set number 71712 is for ages 9 plus and has 810 pieces so if you look into the back like all lego sets it has a bigger image of the set of the set at a different angle then cutouts and boxes showing some of the different play features and what you can do with the set. So without further ado, let's open it up. Now, let's see what's inside. There we go. So inside the box we have... So this set only comes with six bags, but I think the reason it has so many pieces is if you take a closer look at some of the bags, the pieces are a little bit smaller. And besides the six bags, there's really nothing else special in it besides the regular instructions booklet and the stickers. So without further ado, let's build this!
shoulder pads is so they could have their health bars at the top. And for all the ninja, it has three out of four health bars with a little techno design ninja on the side. And for Lloyd specifically, he has a really cool green printing with the lighter green on it and gives it a little bit of contrast. And what I realized about this is we know they're stuck in a video game because the handles of the weapons are video game controllers and the temple has a lot of video game references in it. So we know they're stuck in a video game and the little circles remind me of a laser tag vest. You have the straps and then the circles are what actually gets tagged in laser tag. So my theory is that in season 12, the game they are stuck in is either based on or something similar to laser tag. And you even have some of the laser tag circles on his legs. If you take off the mask, you can get a better look at their new digi faces. In my opinion, it kind of looks like a virtual reality goggles with eyes sticking out. And then you have like their angry mouth. Then on the other side, you have, let me take this off so you guys can see. You have Lloyd's regular face with his green eyes. But he does have a little bit different of an expression, which I think is a relief because mainly they've been using the same Lloyd face since 2017 now. And what's something that's also a pretty cool detail, none of the ninja have this. If you take a look at the back, it has his name, L-L-O-Y. Then if you look at the front, that little light green slash is the D. None of the other ninja have this, and I think it's really cool that they gave it to Lloyd. And it really gives the figure something special. So now I'll just put the mask back on with his regular face so you guys can see how it looks. There you go. So now let's move on to Jay. Now we have Jay. Based on the box and what the season is about, I think this is going to be Jay's season. If you've seen any Ninjago, you know Jay loves video games. And his face is the one on the box. And the last season where Jay was the star, Skybound, it was one of my favorites, so I'm really looking forward to this. He and Kai, which will be in a separate video, have basically the exact same suit, same printing, same detail, same everything, except of course Jay has the blue and Kai has his red. All of the ninja have the health bar on the top that's the same, and all of them have two different color arms except Cole. Cole said he has two of the same color arms. Poor Cole. And he, they all have, instead of the crest or symbol they have, they have their symbol that in like a screen thing. Just like Lloyd, who's still back here for some reason. Woo! And Jay's, it's pretty simple. It has the four laser tag things and then one on the knee. If you take a look at his face, you have a, the digi face like all of the ninja have. And then if you turn it around, you have his face but with a different expression and it's kind of a smirk smile. And sadly, unlike Lloyd, he does not have his name. But it was pretty cool because last time one had their name, all of them had. And that was in the DX suits. All of them had a symbol or dragon on their back. And then it said their name under, so I really wish they did it for all of them this time, not Lloyd, because I really like the DX suits and that gave it a special touch. And for me, it's basically the same with these figures. So now let's move on to the final ninja, Cole. For the last ninja, Cole. Cole's really stands out to me, not because he has the name or extra printing. Instead of the regular laser tag vest that Lloyd and jay have he has a really cool silver chest plate that's really awesome but what i also find weird is that he has way more targets on him and as i said earlier poor cole and he also has some silver and targets on his legs he has the same screen thing that jay and lloyd have and all of them in he and Nia are the only two ninja for season 12 that don't have arcade pods. So he is a little harder to get. But what makes up for Cole not having a $10 set that's just him. He has a $10 junior set of him and basically a tiny car. And otherwise it's pretty much like the other figures. 
he has the digi face. Then he has his regular face with a really big smile expression. Then remember when I said poor Cole because he has so many targets? Take a look at his back. So anyway, because of the different, the chest print and the lasers, since I really like how they look, the laser tag circles, Cole really stands out to me for the others. So without further ado, let's start with the villains. Starting us off with the villains, we have Unagami. Wait, no, Tunagami. I really, really like this figure because it has some cool pieces, like the new V-shaped um, beard piece, and his hair piece is also new with the different type of ponytail, and you can actually hold this in his hand. So his hair is a secret weapon. He is definitely really hard to kill because you really have to look closely to see his laser tag targets. And also a cool reference, his robe is Pac-Man! Also, his faces are really, really awesome. I just ripped his torso off trying to show his face. He has the regular face right here, how it looks about the beard with his expression. And in the back, he has a really, really mad face. I don't know who took his cookies. And then on here, you can see more of the printing without the beard. It looks even more awesome. And then on the back, he has little, little tiny circles with a continuation of the Pac-Man printing. And yeah, Unagami, like Lego, has been getting really good with the more recent villains like the Ice Emperor and Asphira. If you recall, I re remembering how much I love those figures. And his weapon is a digital staff with the translucent orange. Overall, I think Lego's just getting better and better with these main villain figures. The second villain, we have Red Visor. Unagami doesn't have a health bar because I'm guessing he either is like the boss of the world or the boss of the video game. And the bad guys, they have these orange health bars. And instead of a ninja, they have a skull. And here they compare them are. And also you realize that the bad guys have full health and the ninja have 75% health. If you take a look at Red Visor's torso, I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of reminds me of the game Space Invaders. And then he also has a number 404. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's an army and that's his number or something like that. Or maybe it has a deeper purpose. We don't know. We'll have to wait till we see the episodes. He does have the same shoulder pads as the ninja. with it, Although in black to fit his costume. So it can hold this. His visor is pretty cool. It goes up and down. And it looks awesome. His faces, one of them is just a completely straight line for the eyes, indicating he's a robot. And the other's face is a different color completely, and actually kind of looks like a face. I like the face of the back more, but I'm using this face since it's his main face. It's not one of my favorite villain minifigures, but I, oh, I do like the visor. I think that's why they named it after. They named him Red Visor, it's his coolest feature. So now let's move on to this set's exclusive figure. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the exclusive Shushimi! To be pretty honest, it kind of looks disgusting. He has a lot of stains, which are pixelated, which I think is a cool touch. And we can tell he's an evil chef Because he has the villain health bar. And he has cooking tools. And he also has, which is really weird for a chef, a lot of exposed chest hair. Uh, and what's probably the most disgusting thing ever, at the back, he has a dead fish. A literal dead fish sticking out. And then you have his face, unlike the others, just a regular face, no dual sides. And because Lego, they can't make ball ball because of the stud, it has to be used as a hairpiece to do the effect. Even though it kind of looks disgusting, I think it's really, really cool how you have the bald piece with the bandana and the extra detail into making the stains pixelated. 
even though it's kind of disgusting, it's awesome at the same time. So now, let's get into reviewing the temple. As I said earlier, this temple looks phenomenal, and it breaks a lot of traditional temple norms. One of the most noticeable being the pillars it's standing on. You can get a better view from the side. There are four pillars, two on each side that you can see, and then there's one in the center for support. Then at the front here, we have a level sign and some steps making the way up to Unagami's throne, which, if I open these doors, will be revealed. And it's a really cool throne with the translucent orange pieces sticking out, and we'll learn more about that once we turn it to the back. On the sides, we have some platforms with arrows that show the direction on which to go. And then on this side, you have some transparent green weapon holders and a video game machine that has a game with a ninja. And it looks like he is in a Mario game. Then on the other side, there is these Harry Potter wand things some tech things over here and then you'll find out what this is later in the video and if let's turn it back to the front one more time before we take a closer look at tunagami's throne you have this giant v which stands for five because remember the level sign and then just go all the way up you have the leaderboard and some swords the leaderboard at number one is unagami and at number three is Jay, and the other two people, I have no idea who they are. And now, let's take a look at Unagami's throne. It looks pretty cool. It can rotate. And the reason it can rotate is so we can see these video game screens. And I think the reason is, he's like the king of all video games. No way. It's called the Empire Temple of Madness, so I think he's the emperor of all video games. <laughs> Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified when I upload future videos. Oh wait, I just realized, the bell may not work that much anymore, so please come and check into the channel every 2-3 weeks to see if I've uploaded new content. See ya next time!